Yes, um, it's good to have this opportunity to talk to you today. Um, you are coordinating a project for Sudanese refugees in Cairo. Can you tell me more about it, please? Yeah, well, I do a couple of projects. Uh, we have a literacy program for women. We give medical help to Sudanese refugees. We do food, food support. Especially in these Corona days, we have given away thousands of bags of food. Uh, and every year with Christmas and with Easter, we have special food events. And much more systemic is that uh, every Sunday in the past couple of years, we have been giving about 500 or 1,000 meals to Sudanese after their church services in Cairo, in about six or eight different churches. It's called Nile Valley. That, well, in the Dutch, the Dutch version, Nile Valley, that is the name of our trust fund in Holland. Yes, how did it begin? Well, I used to live in Egypt since 1988 till about uh, 2017, so 30 years almost. And in the last six years there, I was the pastor of a church. Uh, and in that church, I, when I started, we had about 100 Sudanese church members. And that confronted me. I mean, it was in my face, their poverty and discrimination and racism, their health problems. Uh, and I wanted to make the worship services for those Sudanese people a bit more festive, pleasant. So we decided to offer a meal after church. And that worked very well. It created a great atmosphere. Uh, and it was obviously good for those people. They didn't have to buy the food uh, for that one, after one Sunday every week. Uh, it was very good for the sense of community in the church, you know, eating together. Uh, what better thing can you do for that? And I think that was one of the reasons, one of them, why the congregation grew from about 100 attendants to about four or 500 every Sunday. And for me, that eating was truly an important aspect of it. What were some of the challenges you faced with the project? Well, we, we give our food to about six or eight churches. And one of the problems we faced, especially in the beginning, was that uh, pastors had a tendency sometimes to say, well, we prefer money, give us money, and then we handle it. And we thought, well, that doesn't sound like a healthy idea, especially because we also were confronted with pastors and their elders who sometimes had the idea that when we gave food for that church, it's really meant food for them and their, their own clan. And it didn't end up with the congregation. So we had to take it really in our own hands to make sure that the distribution goes well. That must have been frustrating. Well, you, you get used to it, but it, did, it does sometimes anger me. You know, you do all your work for them and then you get this. But even if people irritate us, then they still deserve support if they are in need. They really need help. And it is good uh, for their families and for the church. So I'm not disheartened. Our Lord said, if you give uh, any one of, of these little ones who hunger or who thirst, if you give them food, uh, then you, you give it to me. And he didn't say that you only have to help people who are nice, who, who are always likable. So we continue with pleasure. How did you resolve those problems? Well, we, we were very clear from the beginning, no money. And we will check that food goes to the right people. And we check. We, I have someone who works for me who goes irregularly to these churches to make photos. Uh, we make phone calls. We really check that things go well. And that is our responsibility to the donors. How are you funded yourself? Well, not through this project, I can tell you. Uh, I, I'm a volunteer, actually. I have other income. I'm a, I'm a priest in the Anglican church here in the Netherlands, and I have some other income, but not for this specific project. Uh, we only need some overhead some, for some projects uh, for my office in Cairo. I have two full-time people there and two part-timers, and they need to eat, so I need to pay them a salary. You mentioned uh, other projects. Can you tell us a little bit more about those two? Yeah, well, I mentioned uh, that we, for instance, do medical support for Sudanese. They have no money. So if there's a big disaster, how can they pay for a hospital? And we, we pay every year for about 100 people or so to have expensive medicine or chemotherapy or operations and things like that. Uh, I, we also support a small church, uh, a, a small Baptist church, actually, uh, with Christians who came from Darfur in Sudan. Uh, we had just finished a project creating a discipleship program online for the Orthodox Church, the Coptic Orthodox Church. 
and we have more projects of that sort. Uh, a lot, my largest and very time consuming project is that I am hired by the Coptic Orthodox Church to be the CEO of a project to develop theological training for them. So I, had, I have set up in the past two years a bachelor's education uh, for the Coptic Orthodox Church in early church studies. And we have to develop that into a master's. Uh, so I, I have projects of this, this type. And if folk would like to contribute financially to the uh, food program among the Sudanese refugees, especially with Christmas coming, how can they do that, Jos? Well, that would be fantastic. Uh, we want to give away about 500 food packages to these Sudanese families. Uh, and every package contains a lot of rice and sugar and cooking oil, very basic stuff, and costs about 20 pounds sterling. Uh, so anyone who is interested to help with this is most welcome. We need it. And it will be very welcomed by the Sudanese who receive it. And I wrote down how you can do it. You can use your PayPal. This is the easiest way. A bit higher. Higher. And to your left. <laughs> other way, other way. Other, that's other great. Left. That's great. Excellent. So that's paypal.me, N-I-J-L-V-A-L-L-E-I. Yes, I do apologize that in Holland we have this weird spelling of words that are so easy in English. Thank you, Jos. You are Thank welcome. You. You Thank are you welcome. very much for nice your time. Evening. We'll put a link to that uh, alongside the video so people can find out more about your charity. Thank you. Thank you, Jos. Bye-bye.